Hey, it's Catherine from CatherinePuller.com. Today I want to talk to you about types of stamps. I've been getting questions lately a lot about what are photopolymer stamps and why do I like them. So I want to just film a quick video to show you up close and personal why I love them and what they are. First, if you love Stampin' Up! you will recognize this stamp set. It's called Lovely as a Tree and I got it about a decade ago. Check it out. Totally well loved. This is how stamp sets used to come. Rubber with wood mount. And these are fantastic. Then, a few years ago, Stampin' Up! came out with these clear mount. So they come in this nice little case and then it's the same exact type of stamp except you need a clear block to mount these two. And at first I was a little bit hesitant on them because I thought it would kind of be a pain stamping and changing out the stamps and very quickly I grew to love these and prefer them over wood mount. So I hardly ever buy wood mount anymore. Well I wouldn't say hardly ever. Never. <laughs> I really love the clear, um, clear mount stamps. They're great. I love how they store. They're easy to use. Fabulous. Well, fast forward a little couple years after I got used to the clear mounts and a friend of mine, Maureen, and if you hang around my blog, you know who Maureen is. She introduced me to photopolymer stamps. And I'll tell you, you about had to peel me off the ceiling when she showed me them. I think this might have been my first set. I love photopolymer stamps and I'm going to show you why in just a minute. But they've been on the market for years and Stampin' Up! has always said that they didn't carry photopolymer stamps because they weren't the best quality and rubber was the best quality and gave you the best impression impression, and that they were heirloom quality stamps so you can keep them forever and photopolymer stamp sets just didn't stand the test of time. Well, within this year, 2013, Stampin' Up! figured it out and now they have photopolymer stamps too. And I found out a couple things about these. So meet me over at my craft table and I'm going to show you. So this stamp set by Hero Arts I really like. It's a Operation Write Home stamp set. It's got some great greetings in it. And it has a really nice bold heart. So it's going to be awesome for me to show you exactly why I love photopolymer stamps. Now are you ready? Watch this. When I ink this stamp you can see right through it and you can tell if it's inked completely or not. You don't have to turn it over like you do with wood mount stamps. That was it for me. You had me at hello. Now, the second part, this is where you had to peel me off the ceiling. Watch this. As you stamp it, you can see the ink transfer to the paper and you know it's completely per oh my gosh. <sighs> Be still my heart. <laughs> So, I love photopolymer stamps, do you? <laughs> now let's take a peek at Stampin' Up's photopolymer stamp set. I'm going to ink it up. This is Bermuda Bay and see right away it's totally inked. I can see right through it. We're going to watch it as we stamp it down. Ah, and it's awesome and perfect. Now before I started using Stampin' Up's photopolymer stamps a lot, I heard some people were having trouble with them and I was kind of thinking it was probably just because they had been told before that photopolymer wasn't the greatest and they kind of had a mental block going on. Um, or maybe they encountered this problem. There is December written on this banner here and it's really fine detail. So when I stamp it, check it out, all that detail is gone. So when I realized that, I got really disappointed and I thought, well, geez, these stamps aren't that good. And then I tried it with a few other things. So let me try it with this Bermuda Bay and we'll see what happens. Now that's pretty good. It's not perfect, but it's much better than the red. Now let's try it on the old style Stampin' Up! ink pad. This is Pacific, no, 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 no. This is Island Indigo. I'll do it here so we can compare all. Now you can see my red ink pad lost all detail. My Bermuda Bay had a decent amount of detail and this Island Indigo was absolutely perfect. So this is what I'm concluding. The red is a really juicy ink pad. So the new style ink pad when it's too wet is not going to give you a good detailed image on those photopolymer stamps. This ink pad is a new style, but it's not quite as juicy as my red one, so it came out pretty good. This is the old style ink pad, and I think 
uh, perfection was achieved with inking those pretty much, uh, at least better than the new ink pads, although I'm a huge fan of the new ink pads. Um, and I got a great stamped image. So if you are a Stampin' Up! fan and you're having trouble with any of the photopolymer stamps, it's probably because your ink pad is too juicy. You may want to take a paper towel and just blot it or even a piece of computer paper and blot it on your ink pad. And that's a wrap. Those are my thoughts on wood mount, clear mount, and photopolymer stamps. Photopolymer are my favorite. If I haven't convinced you, that's okay because you can still get clear mount or wood mount. And you know, there's all kinds of crafters out there. What kind are you? What do you like the best? Leave me a note in the comments section, either on my blog or on YouTube, and let me know what you love. Also, be sure to hop over to katherinepooler.com, subscribe to my newsletter. You're going to get the top 10 things every stamper needs to know video series, along with three, sometimes four, projects every single month that are exclusive for subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. Happy stamping! Oh my gosh. Oh, be still my heart. <laughs> I love. Sorry.